Welcome back to our farm here in Baldakina in Farming Simulator 22. It's, uh, well, it's springtime now. Last episode, we was, uh, well, started out at the end of February, did some uh, stuff at the end of winter, and then rolled into March, and we started planting our potatoes and getting some things set up. So today, continuing to plant our potatoes, let me get another row started here. There we go. Another row of potatoes going down. So we've got potatoes going down in our, uh, well, this is... Uh, yeah, I showed you also last episode. We got the that's going to be a cornfield next month, and here we got a potato field. I also, since last episode, I ran down to uh, the seed and fertilizer storage building, and I uh, well can't see it right now, but I grabbed about uh, two thirds of a tipper of each, and put those in the covered area there, in our shed over there. So we've got some more seeds and fertilizer to work with. And it looks like, it's, is this row going to go okay? Because, uh, well, hang on a second. I started this row a little bit over anyway, but it looks like it's going down good. So, yeah, potatoes going down. Make sure it looks good on the map. Well, yeah, it looks okay. Anyway, and uh, one thing I want to do is now that, uh, well, it's March. We're kind of halfway through March at this moment. Let's see if any new equipment has come for sale, though. We're sorely short on money, as uh, last episode, we bought this potato planter, and I went ahead and bought a planter for corn, too, because we'll be planting corn next month. Kind of drained us of our money, but, uh, you know, never hurts, you know, partway through the month. Check to see what's on sale, and wow, look at that. That is lucky. How about that? Right in the middle of March... A potato planter would go on sale or potato harvester would go on sale now we don't need that until later in the year obviously but uh wow and you know what that's not even the cheapest one is it where's the uh yeah i was gonna get this one for us just this this cheap one here because uh this is the one that's on sale can't afford this but uh well how about that the expensive one is on sale for cheaper than the cheap one well but we can't afford it. That's always the problem with not having much money and then checking to see what's on sale is uh, checking the used equipment. Well, we'll have to make us uh, $1,600 somehow. Maybe there's a contract or something we can pick up. Let's get another row of potatoes started here. Let's see. Oh, actually, it won't be good. We are almost out of potatoes. Yeah, I'm, I've been having to. I went to just grab a, a few buckets of seeds because we've been going through these pretty good here. Let's go down here and get us filled up again. So let's start another row of potatoes. One fill of this uh, planter will get us through. Yeah, ninety. It takes ninety percent of it. Will get us two rows. Now. As I found out when we filled this at the uh, at the place down there, we don't want to overfill it because it'll spill everywhere. So, yeah. So how much is in here? It's got 51 liters, so we cannot e exceed 449 liters in there. It doesn't hold a whole lot. It's kind of all we could afford. And then we got some seeds here. Yeah, I just grabbed a little bit for our own use because we're going to go through a lot of this stuff planting. It's a... Uh, some of this in here. All right, so 449 liters is all we can, we got room for. I'll just go ahead and just filter that out now so we don't overfill that. Then I have a mess. That's good. 429 liters, that's good. Let's dump that in there. And once we get uh, going on these potatoes, I'm going to want to see if we can find a way to make a couple thousand dollars. I'll check on the contracts and see if anyone needs help around here. No, oh, it's March. Someone might need some planting or something done. Although, really, the only thing being planted right now is going to be potatoes. And I got enough of that going on on our own farm here. Let's see. I'll just leave this here for now. Well, let's back it up out of the way a little bit. Let's have a look at the... Uh, let's see uh, who needs help with anything. Uh, cultivating... Ooh, 13 hectares. That, that'd be a long job. That's a big job. That's a big field. Here's a nice paying job. Fertilizing. 
three and a half hectares, six thousand dollars. That's enough to get us that potato harvester. I mean, we're saving like over half the price in that potato harvester. Yeah, it's only six thousand out of its normal price is like nineteen or something like that, right? Um, now I think with the fertilizing contract, though, I think we got to supply the fertilizer. But still, we only need to make a couple thousand dollars. I don't see why not accept this, and we can hit this up when we get our potatoes planted. It's right. Oh, it's right outside town. I haven't been. I've been past it, but I haven't been there. Oh, it's probably pretty down there. We got the got the stream and the lake down there, and yeah, that's right down there by the edge of town by the train tracks. All right, so that's not a very big field. I mean, that's well, kind of the size of ours <laughs> combined. Anyway, so we'll get down there. We'll do that. It'll make us some money. Even you know, even though we do got to buy the fertilizer to do it. We're going to make some money. We only need $1,600, so that'll work out. Got a few more rows, so we're going to fill this every third run. we got to fill this. You can see, I've yeah, up there, I've run into this field a few times now. It's kind of close to our driveway. After this sweet harvest, I might think about reworking that field somehow, maybe relocating the field. Yeah, see right there, I accidentally backed into it just... Yeah, I, I, I've hit it several places just trying to work in these fields here. All right. So, looks like we're going to have to fill this up one more time. Yeah, one more time we'll have to fill this. I thought this was going to go slower than it has. It's actually going pretty, pretty decently here. Because, you know, the planter has such a narrow working width. And I thought I made the field kind of wide, but nah... And potatoes are so high yield, we should have extra potatoes. Now, of course, these potatoes are going to go in with our sugar beets and our corn that we're going to plant over there. So we'll have pig food. Right now, our pigs are eating wheat. They're fine with that, but I'd like to get them fully fed with real pig food. So later on this year, when is the harvest time for potatoes? Oh, August. Later this year, we'll have our own pig feed. Now, look at that. You can see the little, potato, <laughs> little potatoes going in. And this field should have one stage of fertilization already as this field is fresh dug. So we are going to have to fill, we're going to have to take our, we got a fertilizer spreader, but right now it's got lime in it. And we're going to have to uh, swap that out from lime to fertilizer so we can run another stage of fertilization over this. We won't have to with the corn over there because the, the planter I bought also holds fertilizer, but we're going to have to do that here um yeah let's go ahead that, that'll work now this well maybe we maybe it's three rows yeah maybe we can get three rows well regardless we still need to fill this one more time yeah i guess the potato field kind of came out at a decent size after this we can uh go and check on that field to fertilize uh, let's see we've got to pick up our corn planter that we bought i bought that I uh, didn't need to, but we need it next month anyway. So, yeah, I guess it's it's okay. We got our own planter now. However, yeah, we're going to need a harvester for our wheat, and I don't even know where we're going to get the money for that. But that's not till August, I don't think, when we harvest our wheat. Uh, same time we're harvesting the potatoes. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to come up with a wheat harvester. We got, I found one used part for a harvester, one used part. We still got to come up with the rest of the money. It looks like we may be doing some contracts this summer. All right, there's another row of potatoes. That goes relatively quick. Tried, if you were here last episode, and again, if you have, uh, I've got a, yeah, if you've missed any, I've got a link to the playlist in the description, and I'll try to remember to put one in the comments as well. I think sometimes I forget to do that, but regardless, it'll be in the description, the link to the playlist. I think last episode, uh, well, now I forget what I was going to say. Let's see here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, last episode I did something or another. But, uh, yeah, one more row after this. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Last episode, when I first got to this field with the planter, I tried running this with the 82, the smaller tractor. And though it's got enough horsepower, it did not have enough traction. It was not having this. So, yeah, I had to pull out the this tractor the 2022 I had to pull out the big one to get these potatoes in all right and yeah we're gonna have to fill it for another run that's okay we got seeds over here 
And we won't be able to use, I was just thinking, <clears throat> we're not going to be able to use this tractor to harvest the potatoes. This tractor, well, unless I refit, I don't know if I can put narrow tires in this or not. But yeah, that's a consideration. That's something I'll have to take into consideration when we harvest the potatoes. This tractor, we'll see, this tractor wouldn't pull the planter. Um, it's just a matter of traction, I guess. It's got, uh, I think, around 100 horsepower, somewhere between 80 and 100 horsepower. But uh, harvest potatoes, you, you got to have narrow wheels to get in between the furrows, I guess. Well, regardless, you, I know you got to have narrow wheels or you'll, you'll trample the crop. So uh, at least uh, I have last time I did. But uh, oh crap, how much are we putting in there? We are putting in uh, about 400 liters. But we don't need all that much. Let me dump some of this out. There we go. Whoops. Can get a little more than that. That'll do. Um, yeah, I don't know if these count as narrow wheels or not. I mean, like, they're narrow, but I don't know if they technically count as narrow. And there is one thing I've had. I think I've run into this issue before. This being a two-wheel drive tractor, the front the front tires are just, you know, they are what they are. You can't change them. And they may or may not register as narrow, even though they are narrow, if you know what I mean. So... We'll try it out. That's not till August. Yeah, you know, that's a ways away. When potato harvest time comes around, I'll see what tractor will runs on the field without trampling them. All right, I think we're lined up enough. Get her. And I'll try to save some potatoes from this harvest so that next year we'll have, yeah, potatoes to plant. We won't have to buy seeds. Oh, I just noticed our trees have leaves now. Well, if you recall, I had those trees planted in the fall and then yeah, those, uh, those birch trees. And then all winter, they were just, you know, they were dead. It's nice to see them with all green and leafy. Uh, I took this last row in. That definitely went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to be here for a while planting these, but it's not the case. So as soon as we get this row done, I'm going to run down to the store. Um, and we left our truck down there. Yeah, we did. Well, I'll hitch a ride down to the store. Once we get this, this row finished here, I'll hitch a ride down to the store. And let's see. The equipment, yeah, it's just a tractor and a fertilizer spreader. So I'll hitch a ride down there and pick, pick that equipment up. Oh, and how about that? The field we got to fertilize is, as it happens, right down by the store. So uh, when we finish with the job, we can return the equipment and uh, drive our truck back. That'll work out. And here we go. Last little bit. Very nice. Let's go put this away somewhere. We've got a we've got roomy uh, rooms there in our shed, but I can't really get this in there because well the doors are just wide enough for the tractor to get through, so I can't drop this off on the side in there. We're getting to the point where I could use some more places to park equipment. You know, we got enough equipment, we could use another building somewhere. We could put this by the cedar. We're not going to need that cedar for a minute, so... Well, same with this. We won't need this for a minute either. We could put it in here kind of beside the cedar. I don't know when we'll need that again. I don't know if we'll have the free time to plant another field this year or not. And then there's also the thing of, will my uncle, Uncle Pete, will he have something... Will he have more work for us to do? Quite likely. With that planted, we can tuck this in the garage, and I'm going to catch a ride down to the shop. Let's get this straightened out. We'll take a ride down to the shop, and we can go do that fertilizing contract. Hopefully, that won't take too long. Yeah, and that gets us, gets us the money for, uh, actually, you know what I thought? We are going to drive down there. Ah. Uh, well, because we got our corn planter down there. We got our corn planter. We also bought a roller, which is waiting down there for us as well. I bought that, mm, I don't know, last episode or so, uh, I saw a roller and, I, oh yeah, it was used, it was used, it was, and uh, I figured pick it up because we're going to want it eventually, so I'm going to go ahead and drive our tractor down there, I'll meet you guys down at the store and we can get going on that contract. Alright, we're almost at the store, we can pick up the rental equipment. And get our corn planter 
well, we get started on the, um, you know what, we could use some fuel in this, because it's something I don't want to forget, and I believe there is, yeah, there is, there's a little fuel station right here, uh, let's see, um, no, that's gasoline, <laughs> yeah, we don't want the gasoline, I want this right here, let's get this fueled up, just because, there's not a fuel pump anywhere near our farm. We'd have to go down to the collective farm, but as long as we're here. Here we go. 130 bucks for fuel. Well, we got two. Let's get over to the store now. And we can get started on the uh, fertilizing. Whoa. She seems lost. Uh, she is pretty intent on... <laughs> chasing us down. Maybe she wants our attention for something. We'll see what she wants. She was just asking directions to uh, some uh, government building that's over there. Anyway. Alright, well there's our planter. Let's go ahead and we'll hitch that up. We'll take that home after we're done. That's going to be it's going to be all ours and that'll that'll plant and fertilize. Shiny new equipment for the fertilizing contract. However, um, yeah, rental it looks I don't think it's filled though. I think we're gonna have to fill it. Yeah, that's not very fair if you ask me. I mean, well, I don't know. Well, we paid to rent the equipment, but we gotta use our own fertilizer too. Of course, well, I already said that uh, earlier, I guess. But uh we only need to make a small profit on this, so how much fertilizer does this hold? Uh probably quite a bit. Okay, so then the question is how much do I think we can afford? We don't want to go over. We have some fertilizer, yeah, way over at our farm, right? Um, let's see. 2,000. That better be enough because that is a huge, that's a third of the profits right there. They're really going to make us buy that. You know what? Um, that's a third of the profit that we're making from this. That just... That doesn't seem, uh, I know we only need to make like $1,600, but well, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, should I, should I go all the way down to our farm and load some of our fertilizer into this? Boy, I'm tempted to. Yeah, you know, I guess we're going to run down to our farm and load it with our fertilizer because, which the thing is we need that too, but we, I mean, there's some more in that building. I'm just so, so, uh, short on money that, uh. Boy, I, you know, I just, I, I can't just piss away at like 30% of the profit of this job. And actually, that's the thing. Well, it pays uh, about $6,000, but we had to pay, oh, look how deer. Wow, there's more deer. We had to pay uh, 700 I think it was, to rent this equipment. So, uh, yeah, there's the field right there. Yeah, there it is. But, uh, well, it is what it is. So I'm going to run down to our farm, get this filled up, and I'll catch back up with you guys. Well, this is a lot of driving. At least this tractor is, uh, well, it's a little bit faster than ours. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to throw what I can in there. But uh, I looked on the way back, I looked at, uh, that was the big bag of fertilizer. I looked at other, um, other bags of fertilizer, and we're looking at eighteen or $1,900 per thousand liters just dump this in here look at a couple of these bucket loads that's how we that's how you you, uh, you know you learn to cut costs when you got a small farm of course our, our farm uh, it ain't gonna be small forever hoping we can make some good money with the pigs or maybe uh, we can find other job opportunities around here to help boost our farm a little bit what would really help is let's see if we can get this last little bit Right here, that's by the seeds. There we go. What really help is if we can uh, somehow get our hands on a big field, or at least a bigger field. That that's going to be that's something I should keep, you know, my mind, you know, keep my eye out for is uh, if we can get our hands on a bigger field. Well, bigger profits next year. I haven't looked at land prices around here. All right, so I just had a look, and land here ain't cheap. So we'll uh, we'll find a way. But this is uh, well, 
started this farm back in August, so we're, what, like, you know, basically six months running this farm. Can't expect to have a big field yet. That said, we've got plenty of property here. Well, there's that. I mean, yeah, you know, our homestead here is like seven hectares and change, I think. So, uh, yeah, we could, uh, if I plotted this out more efficiently, we could get a pretty decent sized field here. And then there's always, again, there's job opportunities. My uncle owns a lot of land around here. We could see how we could work with that. All right, so that's only, uh, that's two bucket loads. I don't know how much we're going to need. Whatever we don't use, I am claiming for us. Oh, I'm going to make sure to unload whatever we don't use since this is our own fertilizer. And, you know, before I return the rental equipment, you bet we are unloading what we don't use. Yeah, you know, I thought it was going to be so convenient because the, the contract is right down there by the store, so I figured we could just do this, return the equipment, drive our tractor back with our corn planter, but... I'm going to drive all the way back up here to get uh, fertilizer. But, you know, that's it's like four grand with the fertilizer I just dumped in here. So, all right, that's the field up there. Yeah, up there at the 10 o'clock. Big, empty. And, you know, I had another look. We've actually got 4,000 liters. I, I guess I put more bucket loads in than I thought. So, actually, we've got about $8,000 with the fertilizer here. This is better. This has got to cover the whole field. This is a six thousand dollar contract. We got eight thousand dollars worth of uh, fertilizer. Well, let's try to. I'm gonna try to put it to efficient use here, as good as I can. It's got a twenty four meter working width. All right, so that's some room to play with. I'm gonna have to get a feel for this. I want to kind of do the perimeter. Well, should we do the perimeter or should we do? Let's kind of get a feel for it. I don't want to waste any. Have to, yeah, I'm just going to follow a track around, and then once I get the perimeter, maybe do some straight rows. I think we got more than enough fertilizer. Yeah, I think this is, uh, well, that's good. <laughs> I hope so, because, yeah, whatever we don't use, I'll, uh, I'll unload so we can take back home. All right. Let's see. Should we do a straight run? If I think I can. All right. So that's about our working width. So we're looking at about here-ish. Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, this job should actually go pretty quick, too. You know, there's the big job of cultivating $23,000, but that's a big field. I could see that being one of those contracts that we take on that just ends up. I don't know. I would have liked, well, this is a nice size contract, six, six grand. You know, I, I kind of look for contracts that are kind of medium money. If I, you know, I don't mind working for hours on a field, but if I, if I do, I'd rather it be our field. All right. I'm going to leave that part there. We don't, uh, I'm trying to use the fertilizer as efficiently as I can. Which, let's see here. There we go. There is a little bit of leeway for ground left unfertilized. It's amazing how expensive even the cheap things are when you don't have a whole lot of money. You know, and we did have a good deal of money, uh, last fall after the sugar beet harvest, but, uh, and when you've got money, incidentals like fertilizer really are just that, incidental. But, uh, yeah. All right, I guess it, let's do another north to south row. Uh, which way is north? This way. Where the, uh, the lake is. Do another north to south run. It's the longest direction, it looks like. Ah, there we go, that lined up. Yep. And yeah, we're we're gonna have more than enough fertilizer because we've done all that and we've used less than five hundred liters. But still, so we've done what a third of the field and used five hundred liters, so just rough guesstimate, 
rough guesstimate between three and four thousand dollars with a fertilizer for a six thousand dollar contract. That just didn't sound fair. Yeah, well, it is what it is. I never did the math on that before, I don't think. Yeah, that's close enough. That's just insignificant little strip left over there. 65% completed. Wow, this contract is going fast. I want to find more fertilizing contracts. Well, except for the whole, the whole, <laughs> the problem with fertilizing contracts, of course, is the overhead. But uh, yeah, not bad for quick work. We'll have this done in just a couple more runs. And then, oh yeah, well then we can get that. Oh, I need to make sure that that's still on sale. Yeah. We're doing this so I can get money for that used uh, potato harvester. That's going to save us like, geez, I don't know, like $12,000 or something like that. It's going to save us a lot of money buying that used one. I only hope it's still on sale. Yeah, I should look at that. Yeah, it's still there. I've had them disappear partway through the day before. I've done so much driving around today. We're, by the time we finish this, we'll be going on lunchtime. All right, try to save as much of this stuff as we can. This is this stuff is a white gold. <laughs> well, right now it is. When you got no money, this stuff is. Yeah. Which reminds me, we well, we got pigs, and we don't much yet. But one advantage of pigs is slurry. Oh, contract's almost done. Great. Let's get to a big open spot then, so we can lay maximum fertilizer. There we go. Oh, let's definitely stop spreading then. I I would love to finish this, but the contract is finished, and I need to save every bit of this. Yeah, so I overestimated how much fertilizer we were going to need still, and how much we used. Okay, yeah, I definitely did the math wrong on that one. But we did put down about 700 liters of fertilizer. But still, you know, that's what, like, it's like 1700 or something dollars of the fertilizer. ish well we got this and uh we can take this back home let's unload this fertilizer over here and i'll pop it on that trailer there for our truck and we can take this home all right there we go so that actually we can't fit that on a trailer that's four pallets yeah i uh yeah i did the math wrong on that well at least we got it done right we got it done we used our own fertilizer and we got some left let's go ahead and turn that contract in all right, completed $6,600. We take home six grand after the equipment. And that gives us enough that we can buy that potato harvester. Excellent. Um, yeah, I think it's 63% off the uh, price of a new one. So, and it leaves us with, well, basically the money we had before, four grand. So that's great. Well, we can load up. All right. Can't get started planting the corn till next month. We got this too. When we, when it is time to harvest our wheat, I showed this last episode. We I found this used. Um, this was yeah. I snatched it up. We'll just have to get the harvester to go with it. Luckily, it is one of the most affordable har harvesters we can get locally. And SK5 Neva. This is an attachment for it. Let's get the forklift down here and let's get some of that fertilizer loaded up to take back home. I guess. Don't have any other way to get it home except on the trailer behind our truck there. Should be able to fit a couple of pallets on there. I need to work on getting some of this equipment home too. So we'll take, uh, well, I guess we'll take the corn planter home. That's the next thing we're gonna need. And I didn't realize it was gonna offload the fertilizer on the right-hand side when I uh, offloaded it. It'd be easier to bring the tipper down here. Yeah, it would be. Maybe I will for the last two, but we've already got a trailer down here. Well, see, if I had a, a tipper, I wouldn't have to worry about how precision I pick these up because I could just dump them, but let's place these on the back of the trailer. And, well, I'll leave it here for now, but the next time we're down here, we can drive the pickup truck back. For now, I want to get one of these implements back because we got equipment piling up down here at the shop that needs to... You know what I should have done? I should have strapped down that first one before I go putting a second one on. Let's just hope that my forklift skills are okay and don't push that one off. Good enough. Good enough. That's what straps are for. We'll strap them down the way back. 
get this parked back on the dock, and we'll run the planter home. And, uh, well, it got quite a bit done. We, uh, yeah, the potatoes were, um, again, I'm surprised how fast the potatoes were to plant. A contract was just enough. That was, that was lucky that uh, there just happened to be a potato harvester for sale. I mean, when I look at the used equipment for sale, there's hardly ever, you know, whatever it is that we need. I mean, what are the odds of all the equipment that could be available? What are the odds that uh, we have this guy there? Now, let me, uh, let's pull this forward and have a look at this. I don't think there's a way to fold this up. Nah. Nope, because those would have to be hinged there on the side of the triangle. This doesn't fold, so... And I don't have any uh, beacon lights on the tractor there. Well, so... This is going to be wide load all the way home. Well, it's going to be a challenge getting across that bridge. The only way to avoid the bridge is to take the back roads through the forest, and that's a no-go with this. All right, well, let's see how it goes. You know what I just thought of? I got partway down the road, and I just had a thought. This takes fertilizer. We were down there with a couple of things of fertilizer. Well, I'm glad I remembered that before I got too far. Now, which one of these takes fertilizers? Yeah, see, that'd be really hard to dump into with our bucket anyway. Yeah, when we get this back to the farm, boy, I don't know how we're going to get the seeds in there. I almost think this has got the kind of thing we want to load by hand with bags, but I don't have that luxury. Let's see if we can uh, get the fertilizer loaded this way. All right, now all of those filled up with fertilizer. Yeah, that begs the question. Oh, the seeds. Never mind. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that is going to be... I don't know how we're going to load the seeds. Yeah, I, I missed that. The seed compartments are right here. All right, great. So, uh, yeah, how are we going to load the seeds in here? Well, we'll find out very carefully, I guess. Anyway, now comes the challenge. Now that that's dealt with, at least we got fertilizer in this for next month, which is essentially, by all intents and purposes, tomorrow. So let's try to get this home now. And there's a train coming. As soon as I get out of the parking lot and get it straightened out. And we got a truck coming the other way. You know, this is going to be a big challenge. Is there no other way to pull this? Now this planter has got to be pulled like this. Yeah, that truck's going to be a small issue. Look out, truck. Ah, uh, he's not going to want to go. This is going to be, uh... No, it's going to be what it is. We're going to have to wait till there's no traffic and kind of dart across that train track. And I may have the same issue at the bridge. We race home as fast as we can at the pace of 25 miles an hour. Shouldn't be any problem now until we get to the bridge. I'll see you guys. I'll catch up with you guys. Hopefully, we'll make it home. Well, I made it over the bridge, but uh, I had to resort to a... Um, well, you know, last episode, I showed you guys the trick how, you know, sometimes you get to resort to workarounds. And I, I try to include these when I can, such as when I, uh, in the last series in Big Flats, Texas, when I accidentally dumped the straw in the cattle pen. I showed how to get a vehicle into a cattle pen to get it out. Uh, last episode in this series, I showed you uh, how to find a trigger when there's no icon for it and you're looking for it, you know. And, well, there's a trick to do this when there's just impossible and there's no way. And uh, that's a pretty easy one, really. But uh, I had to turn the traffic off. I had to turn the traffic off at one point. It was the only way to get it across the bridge. Big firm implements like this, you know, you want to try to plan ahead and, well... The only route here was either over the bridge or through the forest. So, some big farm implements, you got to get creative like that. Anyway, we are headed home now. And next up, we're going to roll into April and we'll be able to... Actually, first, the first thing we need to do, actually... Well, I was about ready to sign off. I forgot. We got to fertilize the potatoes. So, if I don't do it now... Well, I won't be able to next month. I kind of need to do it now. Let me think a second. Well, next month they'll be sprouting. 
and this tractor would smash them. I should check to see if that, uh, if our small tractor, if it's got, if it, de it does indeed have narrow tires on it. Um, actually, you know, there is a way to check that. Let's do that. Remember, because I said something about, mm, no, actually there's not. There's no way to check it. Well, I was going to see if I could run over our wheat, but it would smash it regardless. Let's see. Well, I want to get that fertilized. Well, we've got our corn planter here, and that is good. And yeah, some more building space. It's definitely something we're looking at. We're going to have to park this outside. So we'll park this outside somewhere. Yeah. Right here works good. Let's park it back behind where we parked the car. Well, this will work. Let's see. So, the fertilizing, that's going to mean... Oh, that's, is that thinking it want to roll away? I think it might want to roll away. Some things like to do that. I have two things coupled here. Uh, some things like to do that. Mm, I think it'll stay stationary. Let's see. I think what was causing it to roll is when this was too close to it or something. Yeah, it likes to roll forward when this is in proximity for some reason. Is it going to be a problem now, though? Well, we'll find out. If it rolls away, then we'll know. So, uh, fertilizing. Well, we've got... Let me see up here. I might just have to get to that next time. We've got our lime spreader in here. Yeah, we're going to have to swap... Oh, that's dirty. We're going to have to swap out the lime. Swap in fertilizer. We've still got some, don't we? Yeah, we got a, we got a couple bucket loads get some up from the store. Yeah, that's going to be next time. That and planting corn and maybe another contract. We'll see what's available. Well, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Well, we got our potatoes planted. Got some money. Got a potato harvester, so potatoes on the way. See you guys next time here in Baldekina. Continue on with our farm. Maybe we, uh, something cool will happen. Yeah, we find that potato harvester this time. Maybe something cool will happen next time. Alright, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Farming Simulator 22.